Hey guys, in this training, I'm going to show you how to use MailerLite to build an automated email course. Now, if you stumbled upon this video on YouTube, I want you to click the link below to the corresponding blog post where I talk about the five steps to create and launch an email course using completely free tools. Step number one, you write your emails in a Word document. Step number two, you load your videos to YouTube. And then now we come to step number three, where you build your emails in MailerLite. So let's get started. First, you need to log into your MailerLite account. If you don't already have MailerLite, you can sign up using the link below. And then once you're logged in, you're gonna click on automation. And then I'm already there, but this is where you're gonna click on it. Then you want to create a new workflow. Now workflow is the word they use for a series of automated emails. Once here, you want to name your workflow. So I'm going to name this email course or email course. <laughs> then you want to either select a group or create a new group. Now, most likely you have not yet created your group. So we're going to create it and I'm going to call it email course registrant. And it looks like I've already created them. So I'm gonna just call it email course registrant three. But make sure you name it something that you know that it means all of these people have signed up to take your specific email course. Now you will see um, different triggers. A trigger means what happens or what needs to happen for these people to start receiving this series of email. So for a course, just leave it out when a subscriber joins a group. And then I want you to click this little button down here, and this will allow people to re-enter this series of emails multiple times. So if someone takes your course and they loved it, but a year later they wanna take it again, but maybe they can't find their emails, most likely they'll just come to your website and sign back up again. And you wanna make sure that they will receive those emails again. So click this button and then hit save. Now you can start building out that workflow. So the first thing you wanna do is add an email. Now there's a lot of different steps and that you can do, but for a course, you just want to add an email. You can add a delay, but I tend to prefer to just send that email right away when they're most excited. Okay, now it's time to start building out that email. And in step one, when we wrote the course in a Word document, this is where it's gonna come in handy and make this process really smooth. So you're gonna come into your Word document and you're gonna start copying these pieces. So you're gonna copy the subject, throw that in, and then you know put in your who it's from information, and then you're gonna click design email. Now I'm gonna pull some text from here to copy once this pulls up. And I prefer to use the drag and drop editor. You can play with these other pieces, but for an email course, I think the drag and drop editor provides the best features and the most uh, customizable options. Okay, so now you're going to it's going to pull up a basic template, but you can customize this completely to match your branding. It's really great. So let's start with a text box. You're just going to drag and drop it in here. Super easy. Click in that area and now you can insert your text. You can paste it. You do have to do a little customizing once you're in here, but it's really easy to do, it's pretty quick. You can also play with the settings. So you can customize your text to have the right font that you want, the right color. You can make your links a certain color. There's a lot of customizing you can do. Then you want to add your video. So remember in step two, we loaded the videos for the course into YouTube. Now you're gonna add the YouTube videos into MailerLite. So you're gonna take this video button and you're gonna drag and drop it into your email. And then you're gonna click in this area and it'll pull up on the side here a place to enter the URL. So I'm gonna grab a URL from a video I have created. And you're going to just paste that in there and hit this little green button and it will pull uh, your video into your email. And it will create an animated GIF if you want you can make it a static image, but I like the GIF. And I just always keep it as links to source. And then hit save. Sometimes this takes a while to register. Um, while this is kind of registering, I wanna show you 
how great you can customize all these different features. So with your header here, you can change, um, you can try all kinds of different header types. I prefer text only because a lot of times images do not show in people's emails. You can customize the colors, the font size, the, the padding. So padding, let me play with this so you can see what that means. So watch my name up here, how it, yeah, it gets rid of that, that margin. So padding is kind of the margin. So you can really play with, with all the different customizable features within here. So it will eventually pull up this animated GIF so that you can see what it looks like. Um, while that's going, actually, I want to show you one more feature that I always, always forget, but I do catch it when I do a test email, is the preheader text. So make sure you click up here and alter your preheader text. This is really important because oftentimes the preheader text is what people use to decide whether or not they're going to open your email. So do not neglect this piece. Okay, so let's pretend that we are done building out this email. We have everything in here we want. It's customized. It looks awesome. You're going to hit done editing. It's going to take you back into your workflow builder. And now you can start adding more emails. So this is for an email course. So we want to first add a delay because we don't want them to receive the lessons all at once. We want them to receive one a day. And I always choose 24 hours instead of one day because I want to make sure that they're going to receive this a full 24 hours after they get their first email. So put in your delay and then you're going to add in your next email. And then you can start building out that email and just keep going, adding a delay and adding your next email until you have all of your emails in your course built into your workflow. Once they're all in, then I want you to go back and send yourself a test email for every single one of these. This will really allow you to capture a lot of issues. The test emails is what always triggers me to see if I have remembered to fill out that preheader text that I mentioned that I always forget. Um, it's also where you can typically tend tend to catch your typos or you can catch maybe links that aren't working properly. So send a test email and test every single link in that email and read it, scrub it with a fine tooth comb so you can catch all the errors. Okay. And then this is where once it is complete, now it's not complete because I have a, a dead email in here. Let me take that out and see now. Okay. So now you can see that now I have the ability to turn it on or off. At this point, we still want to keep it off because now you have to go in for step number four, you have to create your landing page. And once your landing page is fully built and ready to start taking uh, people, starting to have people join that list and take your course, then you can come back into MailerLite and turn the workflow on. But for now, I want you to keep it off. And then I want you to head back to that blog post. I have a link below this video and then start working on step number four. Okay. I hope you guys found this video helpful and best of luck creating your course. It's going to